From a secret Abraham Lincoln painting on the map Villa to the DeLorean popping up, here are 50 secret Rainbow Six Siege Easter eggs you probably missed. As some of you might know, in the Rainbow is Magic event, if you could get your eyes unglued from the amount of pink around, you may have realized that you're actually playing on the old kid's bedroom in the map house. Another event that had an Easter egg was the Extraction event. In this, if you found the tube on the map, shot out the two fans, then drove your drone down the tube, you will find three bodies in a part of the wall. Well, that was a dark Easter egg. Let's lighten the mood with some rabbits. All you have to do is find this log in the map outback, shoot the center out, and you will see and hear three of these rabbits from the log. If you walk into the living room on Villa, find the bathroom door, you can find a painting of Abraham Lincoln himself on the wall. Going into the future, in the showdown event, if you went down the mining tunnel and found the wooden planks and broke them, you would reveal the DeLorean from the very famous movie series, Back to the Future. Also from the movie is the very similar look of the carpet in the map house. It shares the same style from the hallway scene from the movie The Shining, which is arguably one of the greatest films in history. Speaking of history, if you got the chance to play the Road to SI event in 2021, you may have noticed that there are pictures of every single Rainbow Six Siege Invitational winning team in the underground portion. Personally, it is one of my favorite Easter eggs. I'm sure the devs at Ubisoft love to play different games too, like Dark Souls perhaps? On the map Fortress, if you locate the fireplace and dining, you can drive your drone through and inside and it reveals a sword from the Dark Souls series. While playing with Fuse's elite skin on the LMG, when reloading, if you look under the belt cover, you can read Fuse the Hostage etched in many times, referring to Fuse's ability to always somehow fuse the hostage. On the map coastline, if you walk to the ruined spawn point and look out into the water, you can see a yacht that very similarly resembles one of the actual map yacht. The next time you play on Fortress, pay attention to the roof. More specifically, the part where Tachanka is a wind vane on the roof. Going back to Outback, if you spawn at the gas pump spawn point and turn around, you can quickly see riders and dirt bikes in the desert, clearly saying Trials Fusion on the sign as well. I just hope they're wearing safety. Speaking of safety, let's talk about these rubbers found on the map coastline in Penthouse next to the bed. If you ever wonder what cash would look like in Siege, you don't need to worry. Found in almost every map, if you look at a stack of cash, you can see that Mute's face is plastered all over the face of the bill. Since Mute got his picture and taken and printed, let's get ours too. If you load in on Theme Park and go to the south side of the map, you can find two face cutouts, one of Ash and the other of Sledge. Considering Tachonk is being brought up so much, I want to challenge you guys. Starting now, count how many Easter eggs Tachonk is in and leave a comment at the end of the video and see if you're right. I'll like your comment if you are. If you go into Art Room on Villa, you can find a block of marble. If it's melee, a very sexy Tachonk will appear and bless your eyes. On the Operator Frost, if you look at her default outfit and headgear, you can see a very familiar logo, the logo of a sports brand, Under Armour. The map Oregon is actually based on a very true and sad story of the Waco Siege in Texas. Stepping to Fortress, you can find an Easter egg in a box reading Tunnel Under Construction, which is a direct mention to one of the oldest and coolest Siege Easter eggs to date that we will go over later in the video. Siege has plenty of unique sounds, but a special one is the screams and monster sounds coming from the well on Villa in the ruined spawn. In the SI 2021 event, you can find a secret access point to a great example of the Lord himself, Tachanka. Make sure you keep count. Back to Villa, you can hear a cat meowing near the main road spawn. Someone please save this cat. If any of you are a Watch Dogs lover on the map plane, there are multiple remarks about Watch Dogs. The more notable one is the side of the lifts reading Miller's Rail, which is a bar directly from Watch Dogs. On every map with this radio model, you will always find the same set of numbers and the Rainbow Six Siege logo too. On the map tower, if you break this box here, throw your drone in and move these books, you can see the original key art for Siege, as well as one of the five chibis on this map. The chibis will be shown shortly. This was the direct reference from the map fortress. One of the most noble Easter eggs in the game is the immortalization of the legend Boston Bear Jew, who sadly passed away being a player since the game was released. Boston Bear Jew's friend asked Ubisoft if there was any way they could put a piece of him in the game, and they gave him his own arcade machine on Theme Park and is still there to this day. Skyscraper is another map that holds many Easter eggs. One of them can be found in Office with multiple Ubisoft titles on display. You can also find Ubisoft cartridges in Karaoke Room. 
Revisiting tower, I mentioned five chibis on this map. Smoke can be found in the same spot as the key art. The next one can be found in the gift shop under this desk and it's of IQ. Ash can be found behind a bottle. Montane can be found close to Ash on a shelf. Next to Boss and Bear Drew's arcade machine, there's also another Easter egg. If any of you are avid players of the Far Cry series, you may recognize this Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon arcade machine. Bartley University holds the most Easter eggs in any map. The first one is a picture of Consulate. Watch Dogs also has another Easter egg, but on the map Clubhouse. If you walk into stock, look at the biker jacket. It says clear as day, Watch Dogs. Another nod to a Ubisoft title is on Skyscraper in the Samurai Room. If you look at the waist area of the armor, you can see the logo of the loved Assassin's Creed series. The map Bartlett also holds a picture of Chalet as well. If you ever get the chance, spawn jewelry spawn on Bang to read the local news about Siege in Siege. You can also do the same on Cafe Dostoevsky. Border also has its own fun Easter eggs. If you spawn at the Valley Spawn, go down to the gate to the left, you can find a spray painting of Ash and Smoke. By now, I think we can figure out that Ubisoft likes to joke. Rook Mine is one of the oldest jokes in Siege history. Taken from a message, it inspired the armor bag on Rook's elite skin to contain a folder named Rook Mine. Border can also be found in the map Bartlett in painting form. On Bank, on the top floor, you can find multiple papers given to students who have graduated from Bartlett University. Adding onto the spray paint on Border, you can also find an art piece on the top of the vent above the workshop door. Bartlett has a lot of paintings of other maps, but also has a painting of a painting. In Office on Skyscraper, if you look around on the other shelves next to the Ubisoft titles, you can also find operator-based books. On Tower in the Kitchen, you can find a cake with the Ubisoft logo. One of the oldest Easter eggs is the Screaming Man on Canal next to the East Spawn Point. Another audio cue you can hear is on Favela when you score a goal with the soccer ball. Oh yeah, goal! On the map house, you can find a house inside of house. The showdown event holds a most wanted poster for Kate. House has a picture, which is a picture of Aiden Pierce on the fridge. Everything is always better in a pair, which is why on the map villa, there's another Assassin's Creed logo in the fountain spawn. Easter eggs in Siege even go beyond the game itself. In the division, another title made by Ubisoft, you can find a set of monitors with what looks like to be the very early stages of Siege. On the map Hereford, you can find a plane and a plaque that states that Jaeger were Worked on it. I'm not sure why, but Villa seems to have a lot of Easter eggs too. If you go on the roof above the Astro window, you can see the resemblance of an assassin from, you guessed it, the Assassin's Creed series. Coastline saw a recent rework, and this could be an unconfirmed Easter egg, but if you go into security room and look at the monitors, you will see that VIP still has the big window from the old Coastline map. Music to my ears is what you can say the next time you play Skyscraper. Spawn at the helipad spawn, leave the spawn point, and you will find a thing that makes noise. A personal favorite is the Easter egg on Hereford Base in the garage. Look at the front of the car and the license plate says 50 mil for the 50 million players in Siege, even though there are more than 70 million now. If you ever need to check your eyes, just play Fortress. In the med bay, you will find a sign like the eye test one, only this one is a little different. House contains an Easter egg inside of an Easter egg. The squid on the old house map used to grow when it got shot, but the new house squid just disappears. I guess only the OGs will remember this one. Speaking of eggs, you can hear the sound of an eagle when you shoot this hay bale stack on Villa. It's the same sound as when you jump into a hay bale in the Assassin's Creed series. In the Doctor's Curse event game mode, he spawned as the attackers. There's a very familiar well, the same well from Villa, only the audio cues are a little different. The showdown event also has another easter egg. If you went into the large grave, you could find the head of a smasher from the outbreak event when Lion and Finca were released. And for our 62nd easter egg on Fortress, if you shoot out the piano, you can find a picture of Pulse, Thermite, and Dokubi. I had a fun time making this video. Leave a like, comment your favorite easter egg down below, and hit that sub button on your way down there. Links to all of my social media and my coaching in the description.